Kum Lenin Ablat Gemara. Today is that Chav Zayin Amar Aleph. Just a quick recap of what we. Excuse me. A quick recap of what we learned so far. Not for you. In the Mishnah, that um, if somebody set aside uh, animals for a carbon, or money for a carbon, and then it turned out to be you don't need to proceed with that carbon. So, for example, the woman who became a nazar, she set aside animals, but then her husband annulled it. So what happens to those animals? What happens to those carbonists? So basically we said that if you didn't specify and nominate the carbonists, in other words, it's stumim, halach al-moshim messina says the entire lot, then let's say the money, the entire money can be used to, to bring voluntary carbonists. Even though you have money of a chattas mixed in there, it doesn't matter. And, but if you've specified that this money has a chattas in it, an oil and shlamim, then you cannot. And then if you specify the, the amounts, the amount that you set aside for chattas has to be disposed of. The oil, you purchase an oil, and the shlamim, you purchase a shlamim. <clears throat> so then came along Rab, and he said, this is halacha moshim sinna, that even though there's money of chattas mixed in there, you can use it with all their kabonis, is only referring to money. But if, let's say, it was animals, then it's as if you nominated each animal. Told you last time, according to Rashi, you already had the set, you know, the female for the for the chattas and the male for the oila. You already had set aside down a ram, two-year-old ram for the for the shlamim. Um, so you already had set aside the animals. So then um if the person doesn't need the animals anymore, the chattas you dispose of and the oil and so on and so forth. But if, for example, you had um coming on Nachman said, but if these animals had a blemish on it. Which means from the outset, all you can do with animals is use it for money, and the money you do something with it for the base of English. It's treated like money, and if you didn't nominate, you can then go ahead and spec- um, and use the entire lot for all the animals to use for a voluntary carbon on the Mizbech. But he said, if you have pieces of silver, silver is not like money because generally it wasn't a commodity you used to barter with, it was an end year product. So when it comes to silver, it's as if you nominate you have a few pieces of silver, it's as if you, if you had three pieces of silver, it's as if you nominate it. If you only had one piece of silver, it's as if you have the money of a chattas mixed in, and this you cannot use for voluntary carbon because you have money of a chattas there. And Nach Mishri says, no, silver pieces also sometimes is used for money as money. But if you have bundles of beams, which are only really used for builders, it's not really used as a, as a, a bartering tool. Then over there, if you set aside these bundles to, to buy your carbonus with, it's considered as if it's Mufarashis. And uh, if there's a Hattas in there, you cannot use the, the Hattas money. And if you didn't nominate exactly yeah, with amounts for Hattas and Ayla Shlamim, then you can't use any of those beams because there's some Hattas in there. Comes along this we're up to about six lines in the bottom page, Chavov on the base in the bottom. So Amal of Shim Barashi of Papa. So Shim Barashi said to the Papa, I don't understand. My Tarai to my Rabban. What exactly where the Bani coming from? The Amri they say, Mois Veloy Behema. They say money, only money, because how Lakh Mosh was saying implied they didn't specify what's what, that even though there's money of Khatas mixed in there, you can use to buy uh, voluntary kabanas. So you say money will be hema will not have a piece of silver mice will spiral and money again and not bundles of, of beams. So let me ask you a question. El if so we should make the same inference and say mice well it's money and not birds. If you have carbonus of birds and you didn't nominate what they are, then they, they should be considered as if they were nominated because only money do we say that the chatas mixed in you can use it over voluntary carbonus, but not anything else. So also not the case of birds. But you should not be able to use it for anything else. You cannot use it for an adobe, for example. So that's a question. So maybe talk about birds, the same thing applies, that you don't know that talk of birds are just like animals, that's as if it's specified. So that's a question. said, that if let's say a person has to bring two birds and then uh, one bird flew away or then he died, whatever it is, and you have and what do you do with these birds? Or the moment the owner is bought it, he dominates what's what. If he didn't, he basias coin. Only when the coin then goes ahead and brings it up. Otherwise, in between, it's as if it's stamped. It's all mixed together. What do you mean, stamp? You just said that only money. Do we say it's as if it's all halach machine? You can use it for voluntary, but not if it's animals. So the same thing should be by birds. It should be like it should be like money. Amalek, he said back to him. <clears throat> Amalek said back to him, according to your version, according to your logic, 
Hodetnam, this that we learn. <clears throat> You, you, you know what you just said only money we say stamp money you can use a tie lot for voluntary cabanas what about office and yet here we say that if it's before the coin nominated it you can use a tie lot for for a voluntary but how can you it's not money i'm a label of time when i ask you back so you're saying that what only limited to money and not birds that's a question how number the mission of shimmer will but hey we show us baby but three animals the late Peter, he didn't specify what where the animals are going. So Haru Lachatas, that animal which is uh, suitable for a chatas is Tikim Khatas. The animal that's suitable for a chatas is brought up as a chatas. La'ila, the animal that's uh, suitable um with the females a chatas. The male is an oila. Um and Lushlamim and the Tikr Shlamim, the animal which is suitable for Shlamim, what's a two-year-old ram, goes for Shlamim. Right, so it's as if it's specified. But if you're telling me, uh, you just said you argue that you believe that when it comes to birds, it's it's as if it's not have not been nominated. So the animal is the same thing. It's as if it's not nominated. So how come the din is the chattas goes on the chattas? Use it all as a voluntary. Amalek um, said, "What are you talking about?" Hoss, in the case of the birds, it says the lokach. The Shabbos um, Rashi is defending himself. Why he argues? It says in the case of the birds, it says the lokach which we darshan either when you bought it or when the coin makes it. That's when you have to nominate what they are. Amar Achmana, Ibel kichas bailem either when the person bought bought it, Ibel sees coin or the coin makes it. So therefore, in the interim between, as the pasuk says, but in the interim, it's considered just a pool of money, and there's no chattas really in this, and nothing's been nominated. So it's a special pasuk that teaches that. But in the case of the animals, hachanami mimotz amrit. Over here, the animals, it's automatic. It's as, if, it's as if they're nominated because a female can only be one carbon and the male can only be the other carbon. The male can only be the oil, the female can only be the chat. It's as if you expressly said that's how it is. And therefore, that's why it's called mefarashas. And that's why each each animal is you bring up according to what it's suitable for. Uh, you can't swap. You can't say, oh, the chata should be blended as if it's not there. Of course, you can't say that because the chata is a female and you cannot take the female and bring it up as an oil. So, obviously, that's different. Okay, says so the mother further. Most of Ravanuna asked the question. Now we're going to talk about the blemish, the, the, you know, the balmum. You said that a balmum might be different than a whole animal. You said it follows. <clears throat> You said that if the animal is suitable for the mizbeach, okay, so then it's as if it's denominated. And if you if you don't need any more, then the chattas has to be thrown out and the other two animals will use the corn to wherever the animals are. But if it's a blemished animal, you say, well, blemished animal, you can't bring it as a carbon, so all you can do with it, when you made it holy, all you really made holy was the value of the money, so therefore it's treated like stamp money. And if the person died, you can take that and use them and sell it and use that money to um, populate the mizbeach. So that's the question. Well, me, I'm going to do me say behemoth balls, mom, because to me, that an animal which has a blemish, as if it's too, uh, as if what, as if it's pulled together. Toshma coming here, it's kind here to follow the Bryce. So you see, the Bryce doesn't make a distinction. Kate said, it says they're following. There's a special halacha motion with Sinai that generally you cannot use my carbon and use it for somebody else, or even if, as we'll see later, even myself to use it for another other You can't do that. However, by another, we have that sometimes the son can use the father's carbonus. How? Kesad, Omer, we each, and the person says, the gear is a little bit different here than the way this is remarked. But Kesad, Omer, we each, the person said, Megaleach, Almazidas, Obi. When do we say that a person can use the animals of his father? His father was a Nazir and he set aside animals. When do we say the son has a right to use that? So we say as follows. This man, Shahaya, Obi, Nazir, his father was a Nazir, not him. The Hefrish, Obi, Mice, his father set aside money to buy himself these animals in the Zerusa. And then the mace, he died, right? And then the Amma, the son came along and said, you know what? I will take upon myself a Nazir, but I'm a Nashi Galech. I take upon myself a Nazir on the condition that I can use my father's animals. Almois Abba, the money of my father. The law is, that's the only exception that he can use the animals that were set aside for the father. He can use it for himself because he made it conditional. He became another afterwards and he made it conditional that he can use those animals. And there's a special law that says he can do that. They were both another. The Hifrish of Imayus to let's say the father and the son were both another at the same time, and the father set aside money for himself. The Mason he died, and then the son says, Well, I want to use the, the money that was already set aside by my father. The law is no. 
because the money hasn't been specified nominally where it's going, the entire lot used for voluntary kabbalas. Like our previous mission, if the father set aside and said this, you know, this will be for chattas oil, then chattas tamas, the chattas part, you have to it's toss away because nobody needs it. Oil, ticker of oil, the oil money used for oil, and shlami, mikir, shlami. Now, you say we're talking about animal there, and it just says if the animal was set aside, that's as if it's already been nominated. It doesn't make a distinction whether the animal is unblemished or blemished. My love, I feel about it. If, even if it's blemished, we still treat it as if it has been set, has been set aside for chattas and oil and and not that we just pull it together and say, okay, let's use the entire lot for, for um, to populate with bech. That's not a conclusive. To me, maybe the price is only talking about animals that are unblemished. Okay, so what are you telling me? I have a balanced mum. But you tell me what happened to animal taka had a mum. It's customer It would be as if it's not nominated and therefore it hasn't been specified and therefore you can use the entire lot for the mezbeh. So that's a question. So my idea is why does the b'raisa use the word money? Lema, let the b'raisa go even sort of a slighter, more novel approach. Even if he didn't have money, just had an animal. That was set aside, but the animal had a blemish. Yipul and the you should toss it, you can use that money, sell it, and use that money for the Mizbech. So why, the price, the fact price doesn't say that, doesn't approve the price is only talking about animals that are unblemished. Not like you want to argue. Says the Gemara, sorry, the price is holds that there's no difference, blemished or non blemished. In all cases, it's been nominated, and you cannot use the Chattos part of it for anything else. Says the Gemara, that's no proof. No, the price clearly means only money, uh, an animal that's unblemished. What about a blemished animal? The Bryce is not talking about it. But what about our question, instead of talking about money, say about a blemished animal, it's the same law. No, because what's the logic behind a blemished animal? A blemished animal, when you consecrated it, you couldn't use it for the Mizbeach. So what was your plan? Your plan always was to sell it and the money used to buy animals. So therefore, when the mission says money, it's as if we're talking about blemished animals, because what ultimately the blemished animal will be converted into money. The Maikadisha Ludray, when you made it holy, you only made it for its value. The value, that is money. So, so the proof doesn't prove one way or another. Okay, so Masi Rav asked a question from another price. It says, it says a number of times when it comes to a carbon chattas, talks about a, a different kind of carbon chattas, it uses a, the word carbon, his carbon, as if to, to, to limit his carbon and not use that for somebody else. But it says a number of times, like three times. It's, it talks about a Nasi who sins, what happens then, and to three times, one by Nasi, one by a sheep, and one by a goat. So we learn a drasha from each one. So the Brasi goes as follows. Carbon, it's a long Brasi, but carbon, but carbon, you can only use your own animal. You cannot use your father's animal. What do you mean? Let's say your father set aside an animal for a small aveda. And now I want to use this animal for a bigger aveda. Let's say he uses it for trafe, and I want to use the animal because uh, I, I desecrated the shops, which is far more serious. So maybe that's what you cannot do. I mean, the all the way around. The father set aside for Shabbos, and I'm going to use something easy. I will make you cannot do that. I will use it for it's on par. The father set aside for trade, and I'll use it for trade. Or you set aside for Shabbos, and I'll use the Shabbos. Maybe that's all right. If it says carbono, you have to bring your own carbon. Carbono, be carbono, it's only your carbon you eat. When you eat, we come on to love. You cannot use your father's hand. Okay, let's go further. Yachal, I would have thought, lo yaitze, be carbon of it. You cannot be yaitze, the carbon of your father. The behema shehif, if you set aside an animal, if your father set aside an animal, you cannot use it. I feel him in a kala, a kala, even though it's all the same level and a lower level, or a stricter evaded to a stricter evaded. Why? Shari ain odom megaleach al behemas of the benazidis. I cannot use my father's animals that he set aside for another for myself. Right? Oh, the only time he said you could is if you um, made it, you, just, you became another afterwards and you made it conditional. Otherwise, that's not lachal, you can't. I will use it. Okay, that's for the animal. Or maybe money. If the father only set aside money, maybe I could use that money for myself. I will use it. But if the father only set aside money for his carbonus and then he dies, maybe the son can use it. I feel like even the father set aside for a stricter Aveda, and I want to use it for an easier Aveda. I mean, I call it for an easier Aveda to stricter. Since only set aside his money, so like it wasn't marked for anything, maybe I can use it. I can use the money. I cannot use an animal that my father set aside, but I can use the money 
that my father set aside. Only, sorry, the Allah Mashin is only money that your father set aside. You can use if he made it conditional, but not the animal. Is this man Shahin Stumim? When can you use the money? <clears throat> only if there was no, it, was, it was not specified. The labor's man shaheen for I would have thought, you know, that you cannot use it, you know, <clears throat> when uh, you know we're talking about uh, if it's um, you didn't specify what it is. <clears throat> but the labor's man shaheen for But if they are specified, maybe then you can use it. Talmud labor again. No, if your father specified this is this, and then this is for karachat, maybe I can use it. Talmud labor. <clears throat> so this is what you thought. If the father specified it, you cannot pass it on because it's, only, it's like the father's. But if the father just had money pulled together, it didn't specify what's what, maybe the son can use that money. That's why he says the second time, carbon. No, you can only use your own animal, not the father's. And we're not only talking about a carbon, even the money is set aside for animals. The carbon, no, you can only use your animal. Then you eat the carbon, you cannot use the father, even though all he had was money. Yachla, I would have thought, well, you eat it, we continue the rice. Okay, I would have thought maybe you cannot use the money that was set aside by your father. Okay, your father's animal you cannot set aside. It's not transferable. I will ask me, what about yourself? Can you transfer from yourself to yourself? I set aside an animal for myself. I mean, I call if, if I use if at first I, I use it, I will use it for a smaller abeda. And then I went to uh, I decided to use it for a stricter abeda. Let's say for Shabbos. Uh, um, um, from the stricter one to a lighter one. Tamil uh, Lehman says again a third time, even for yourself. Once you set it aside for a certain Aveda, you cannot use it for another Aveda, even though it's all for yourself. Uh, until you have a carbon, unless, unless you set aside this particular carbon for this particular sin, you cannot use it for any other sin. Okay, Yacha will for yourself now. Just like before we had, we said, first we start off with an animal, but you cannot, try, it's not transferable. Then we even went to money, we're doing the same thing with yourself. Okay, you cannot transfer your animal from the sin that you set aside for, for another sin for yourself. What about if you set aside money for yourself? You cannot use an animal you set aside from a light mitzvah to a light mitzvah, from a strict to a strict one. I feel like you know, even from a light to a strict or from a strict to a light. Okay, she came in for example, if you set aside an animal, there's a logic to it. You set aside an animal, let's say, Allah Khalid, a tray for fats. And then the Hegel Dam, you brought it instead for blood. So, you know, normally if you use something that belongs to Hegdish for another purpose, you're stealing from Hegdish. And what happens is that at that item, on the one hand, is no longer considered sacred. It's now mundane, chulin. And for that, you have to pay a penalty, you have to pay the full value, pay the extra amount, and plus you have to bring a certain carbon. But over here, all you're doing is changing the animal from fats to blood. So, therefore, it's not, there's no me'ili, it's not transferring, it's not, it's not converting to at all. So therefore the animal cannot change from its original state. So I can use it for another veil. You set aside for blood, now you want to use for trade fat. So you mark. Since you're not stealing because you're not taking making it chulin, you're just taking the animal from one avail to another. Therefore, like you cannot transfer it. It stays in its original state. But when it comes to money, what happens when it comes to money? You go ahead and you buy an animal. When you buy an animal, what happens to the money? Let's say you made money holy for the base of Now you go ahead and you buy an animal and you transfer the kedusha of the money to the animal and the money itself now becomes mundane. It's no longer considered sacred. So therefore, when it comes to money, I would have thought since it's no longer sacred, it's holy. So maybe I can swap it from one Aveda to another Aveda. Maybe I can transfer money. I set aside the chatzila for a chat since the money is becoming chulun. It's as if I'm starting again from scratch and I'm sending it for another Aveda I did. From fats to blood or whatever. From the light to light to strict to strict. From the light to strict to light to light to strict. If you set aside for yourself money, for the trade for fats, and then the then you decide to bring it for blood, or Aladam, you set aside money for blood, behave on the head, then use it for fats. I would have thought, in this case, yes, it's good. Why should he mow? You stole because you're using money from Hegish, and therefore, for using for your own purpose, you're stealing, you're taking it out of Hegish's domain, it becomes now ordinary, it's chulin. The kippah, and therefore, I'm now using it for another carbon. I bought a brand new carbon and should be valid. I can transfer it, I can change. 
If for time we have another pasuk where it says it's an al chatos the koyim will forgive you al chatos until you get it right. Actually, hey korban noy v'shum chatos the money as well had to start out for the very sin that you're trying to atone for. Funny me as we learn, however, behema. Now we're going back to our original question. It says here when we talk about the behema, we would have thought your father's behema is good enough for you. And um, my love, I feel a balas more. We make no distinction here in the behemoth whether it's unblemished or whether it's blemished. And so, therefore, we see here that what and even a blemished animal is considered as if already been designated for a chatas and oven shlam, and therefore, they're transferable. So, a question on what we had before. So, you want to learn? No, to me, we're talking about an animal that is unblemished. Says the Gemara, so what? Abu Balas Mumba, if it would have been blemished, my customer. Tell me if it would have been blemished, it's like it's pooled money with not none specified, and therefore you could use it for whatever you want. My ear, they tell you, so why does it? But I used to say, money, she free shop in father set aside, at least they balas mum. Tell us the same law regarding an animal that has a blemish. Isn't that a great chiddish? And you want to answer the same as before. Hachinam here too. What are you going to do with this animal? Ladomi. When you said it, when you consecrate an animal that's blemished, what was the purpose of that, that consecration? You can't put it on the bag, it was only the value, the money. No, don't behind the mice. So when it says in the Braissa, money, it could also be talking about animal, referring to animals that have been blemished, because all it is to us, we legally we look at it as if it's money. And therefore the same law applies. So it proves doesn't prove one way or another. Okay, let's just pause for one minute.